You're watching Channel 7 Action News. With more than 4 billion people using cell phones nowadays, do you think you'd be able to live without one? What about the internet or television? Well, tonight you're going to meet a man who is going to turn it all off for 30 days. We've been chatting with him over here. This is getting interestinger and interestinger. <laughs> We're joined by Todd Murray, launching a project called Isolation 30. I mean, you're not kidding. This is, you're going to lock yourself in a room, no technology. For yeah, days. no windows, no cell phone, no natural sunlight. Um, no, no computers, no, no, t no clock, no calendar. So I, when I go in for 30 days, I have no idea what day it is, what time it is, what time of day it is. So it's, just wait for somebody to open the door. Now, the cool thing is you will have Internet cameras set up so people can watch you, yes. right? Yep. So t why? Why did you come up with this idea? Well, it, it was a thing of just wondering how the mind would handle no social contact with Facebook and MySpace and cell phones and texting. What if you got rid of everything? How would you, when you're so used to using it every day, how would you deal with it just being gone completely? Um, also, the, 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 strangely enough, the entertainment aspect of it, you know, to give people an opportunity to see how somebody would deal with just giving everything up completely. So we can watch you then 24-7 yep. for 30 days. Yeah, when we start, um, uh, subscribers will be able to log on 24 hours a day for 30 days, mm -hmm. and the cameras are, will always be on. So it'll cost? Uh, to yeah, a really a yeah, really small okay. amount. We, we want to make it we want to make it cheap enough to where there's people interested and they don't mind paying. Plus, the portion of the proceeds will be going to a mental health charity. Um, we don't know which one yet, but we're going to be donating a portion of the money to mental health. Now, we got to ask you a question now. So when you told your family, hey, I'm going into a room, and look, your family, your job, you know, your kids, what did they say? At first, they thought I was joking because I talked about it for a while. But they, they seriously think I'm crazy now. They, they keep saying that you're going to be crazy. Are you sure you want to do this? And, but everybody's behind me. Everybody's really helping me get it going. At this point. Yep. Now, I also find a bit ironic what you do for a living. Here's a guy who's giving up all electronics, essentially. What do you do for a living? I repair industrial electronics. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, so you're going to now you are going to write a blog. People are going to be able to watch you, but you're going to write about this, right? Yeah. While I'm in there, I'm going to keep a journal. Handwritten. Notes. Handwritten. Yeah. You're not using uh, yeah. Blog, right. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I'm already starting to document everything, and the website is we're constantly updating um, information, putting more and more on there. The website's free up until the time when we get ready to do it, and then it'll be subscription based for one month. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. I mean, are you going to miss something? Are you worried about giving up some hamburgers, I'm, hot dogs, something? I'm going to miss everything. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't, do, it's a funny thing because I don't do really well when I'm by myself yeah. for long periods of time. So that, but the, the technology, I'm always talking to my kids mm -hmm. on the phone. Um, and obviously with what I do for a living, I'm right. surrounded by electronics, so it's going to be interesting. So are you, are you afraid that over the course of those 30 days you might do something that you're later going to regret? I mean, people are watching No, I don't think so because I it, it, have enough time to build myself up for it, and I know it's 30 days and it's for a good reason. It, so I'm, I'm not stuck in there permanently, so I think I'll be okay. And you know you're coming out. Right, and if, if it gets to a point, I, I will be able to to get out if I needed to, if, if there was a real danger. I would. And, and one last question, since you're going to be locked in this room, what are you going to eat? Well, I'm going to bring everything I need with me in to the room, because once I'm locked in, I'm, I'm in. Right. So everything I need, that's it's can't, trying to keep track of everything that I'm going to need for 30 days and bring it in with me, and once I'm in, I'm in. So I'll have everything in All right. You know we're going to talk to you at the end of 30 days. All righty. We want to see how it went. Thanks. I'll be like, let me out. <laughs> let me out. No, I'm kidding. I'm I, kidding. It's a, you know, it's an here. amazing project, and, and we applaud you for taking it on. So uh, thank you very much for that, and we'll keep track of how he's going. Right now we're going to keep track of what